Hey guys, good morning, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I thought let's keep it a chill type of morning. Uh, I just got out of the shower and I was about to do my skincare and I thought why not share it with you guys and have like a girly talk. So if you want to see my whole in-depth skincare routine, then please grab a snack, grab a coffee, or grab your skincare so we can do skincare together. So the first thing that I like to do is start off with a damp face. For that, I have these two mists of choice. I love the Caudalie Grape Water. It is packed with antioxidants and so I love this for my skin. This is for sensitive skin and this Kosas Plus plump and juicy skin mist. This is also really good. It actually hydrates your face so well and I like to use it throughout the day if I'm washing my face, if I'm doing wudu before my prayer and then my face just gets a little bit dry. So I like to use this throughout the day. But before my skincare, I don't know why, for some reason I prefer the Caudalie Grape Water better. So let's go ahead and spray this. Ooh, and I love the mist on this because uh, you see it's so fine. It like leaves the droplets on my face very evenly if that makes sense as opposed to this one. You have to like kind of keep pressing it to get the pumps out like this. Okay, so while my face is still wet, I like to go in with my toner. Um, this is the time I use my three toners. Yes, I have a three toner skincare routine and I will tell you why I use each toner so you'll understand. So the first one is this Laneige Cream Skin Hydrating Toner. The first time I saw this in store, I thought, oh my god, it looks like milk. And when I bought it and I started using it, it actually feels like you're applying milk on your face. And if you have dry skin, this is going to be your best friend. Oh my god, I love this so much. It's like maybe two months back when I got this, my skin was dry like a desert. I don't know, my skin was shifting. It used to be combination and then it turned to completely dry. So I was searching for some hydrating products. And that's when I came across this and I absolutely love this. Now the second toner is this Caudalie Vino Clean. This is also a hydrating toner. It is also packed with so many antioxidants. And the reason I use these toners is because they are hydrating. They don't have any chemical in them. They're just mainly for the hydration purpose. And you absolutely do not need to have this many toners in your skincare. You can just get one and then layer that one before your skincare. So now that second toner let's move on to so now the third toner is very famous and my personal favorite it's the glow recipe watermelon toner now this is the only toner that has pha and bha the other two toners were just for the mere purpose of hydration so now this contains pha and aha pore tightening properties so i use this only once a day the other two i would use like during the daytime and nighttime this one i would only use once i try to keep the products that contain chemicals like this to a very minimal because i don't want it damaging my skin and removing my skin barrier because that's there to protect my skin so i don't want anything to harm that barrier i just want to provide it with enough products from the outside that help it optimize its original function that it knows how to do so this is why i love using these three toners because look how glowy it's made my skin and it just looks like my skin is really plump and healthy from within all right so next up i'm going to use the ordinary hyaluronic acid this stuff is so amazing and i also like to use this once a day not twice because again this is also an acid that will harm the skin barrier so i like to keep this to the minimum as well just a little tip since this is a morning routine i won't be applying my vitamin c serum that is because you don't want to mix your vitamin c with your SPF and then go out in the sun because it's going to defeat the whole purpose of the vitamin C serum. So you want to apply it at night when you're not using any SPF and you don't have to 
go out in the sun basically so this hyaluronic acid is also going to provide you with some extra hydration okay let me show you the vitamin c serum that i love to use okay so this is the one that i've been currently using it's the paula's choice and it's 15 percent vitamin c serum i like to use 15 percent there's more like higher potencies as well i like to use the 15 percent because i just don't want to overdo anything when it comes to skincare so i like to keep everything to a minimal and then sometimes i like to apply the hydration serum by a drunk elephant if you guys saw my drunk elephant video oh my god drunk elephant skincare actually um ruined my skin which is why you're seeing all of these acne scars so i found that this hydration serum is actually the only thing from drunk elephant that is not breaking me out so i started to slowly incorporate this into my skincare so now that is done and if i want some extra glowiness in my skin if i'm like applying makeup right after my skincare i do like to go in with the glow recipe dew drops this one pump is gonna make your skin look so shiny in a healthy way not not in a like bad way so you see it's giving me that oh beautiful glow and all the products that i'm showing you in today's video are the products that help me fight my acne i am pretty sure i had hormonal acne let's move on to my favorite my holy grail product if you decide to buy anything from this video i really suggest you buy this the wishful honey balm from huda beauty I cannot tell you enough how good this moisturizer is and it is the simplest moisturizer that you can find on the market it's only made with lavender honey niacinamide and turmeric it doesn't get simpler than that and just taking a little bit I'm gonna apply it everywhere so good for combination and dry skin you see that shine oh my god i and it smells so good because obviously lavender another tip that i want to give you guys is always take your skincare down to your neck i also like to go over my hands so that your face your neck and your hands can age at the same time okay now for the most important part spf and i love i love i love this neutrogena spf 60 plus <sighs> I put my mom, my sister, I don't know, like everyone on this sunscreen and they all love it so much. This is like a moisturizer plus SPF type of situation. So even if you want to skip your moisturizer, if you're using this, you'll be good to go. I swear. Because it gives you that hydration. It gives you that protection from the sun and it's SPF 60 that is insane and you see it does not leave any white cast and the glow insane also apply all over your hands so i just like to tap it in like this look how fresh and glowy my skin looks now for eyes i do like to use two different products because i have insane panda dark circles so the first product that i use is the ordinary caffeine solution i've been using this for over a year now and i see a huge difference in my dark circles so i take about this much like a pea-sized amount on my ring finger always apply your eye creams with your ring finger because this is the finger that has the least amount of pressure in it and this area is very sensitive so you have to handle it with care so i apply this and i let it sit for about 30 seconds before i go in with the second product which is this glow recipe avocado melt eye cream this i don't know there's something about this eye cream maybe it's the color because green is supposed to cancel out red and like dark spots on your skin which can be the reason that it instantly gives me like a bright under eye effect and you're gonna see that right now so i'm gonna take it on my ring finger and i'm gonna do one eye so you can really see the difference okay tell me you don't see a difference 
right? It instantly like gave me a brighter under eye. It's so insane. Okay, so now I'm lightly going to just fill in my eyebrows. Because I literally have to do this every morning. I can't walk out of my room without having my eyebrows filled in. It just makes me feel naked. I don't know why. Okay, so that's that. And then I use the Juvia's Place Liquid Blush. It is in the shade Blush Lily. Now this is just my morning everyday makeup. If I'm not going out, it's just to sit at home do nothing type of makeup just gives my face a little bit of life so this blush and i like to use this blush because it gives you that color if you were like had naturally flushed cheeks if that makes sense and now for lips i use the rare beauty lip balm it's in the shade nearly mauve and i hate the applicator like everything from Rare Beauty, but I hate the applicator. Like, how are you supposed to do this lip? I have to go like this. Like, what the hell? Doesn't make sense. And that is pretty much everything that I do in my morning skincare slash makeup routine when I'm not going out, when I just have chores around the house, and which which is pretty much every day. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon so you'll always be notified whenever I post. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!